Today we're going to talk about one of the most searched skincare ingredients out there, vitamin C. Does vitamin C live up to the hype? What are the best vitamin C serums out there? Before we delve deeper into vitamin C as a topical option for skincare, we must keep in mind how important it is in our diets for overall health. Scurvy was once responsible for more deaths at sea than storms, shipwrecks, combat, and all other diseases combined. We now know that it was caused by these sailors not getting enough vitamin C in their diets. Vitamin C is an essential water-soluble vitamin. We need it to make collagen, the building block of skin, muscles, bones, and most other structures in our body. But our bodies cannot make it. We get vitamin C from our diet. But despite high doses of oral supplementation, only a small fraction of vitamin C will be available and active in the skin. Vitamin C is necessary Necessary for skin growth, repair, collagen synthesis, and maintenance. Vitamin C wins the award for being the most abundant antioxidant in your skin. Environmental factors such as solar radiation, pollution, and smoking can accelerate damage to the skin through the generation of so-called oxidative stress. Vitamin C neutralizes that oxidative stress. It also gives us protection against photoaging. Research suggests that application of topical vitamin C measurably reduces signs of sun damage. It can improve the look and feel of skin. It can help skin make and maintain more collagen, reduce wrinkles, and improve hyperpigmentation. All great stuff. Research to date, however, has used small sample sizes and short treatment duration. Independent, unbiased research is sparse, often sponsored or run by cosmetic companies, which can of course cause a conflict of interest. Vitamin C is also thought to offer protection against UV-induced skin cancers. Vitamin C is also a replenisher of vitamin E, which is also a powerful antioxidant. And vitamin C has an anti-pigmentary effect. It decreases melanin for Formation, which leads to reduced pigmentation caused by, say, melasma. But topical vitamin C can be a nightmare for cosmetic chemists to work with. It can be highly unstable and it can lose its efficacy. It also doesn't absorb easily into our skin. And to get it to penetrate into skin better, it is often made to be acidic, which can be highly irritating on the skin. Keep in mind that vitamin C is available in many forms. The most active form of vitamin C is L-ascorbic acid, which is also one one of the most unstable forms, meaning that it's easy to break it down. Many vitamin C products contain derivatives that are more stable, but it isn't clear how well they always turn into the more active form. Derivatives can still work, but they're usually not the most effective compared to the active form of vitamin C. So essentially they're more active compounds, but they're typically less effective. And this is a similar concept to what we spoke about in the retinol video. So make sure to check out that one. And here's a list of some of these commonly used derivatives. And you can see popular formulations from Ordinary or Olay using some of these derivatives in their products. So with all this in mind, how do you actually pick a product when it comes to topical vitamin C? Well, you should look for products with specifically L-ascorbic acid or ascorbic acid for short. This is the version of vitamin C with the most robust research behind it. But keep in mind that these might also be the most irritating because of that low pH that's needed to allow it to better penetrate into your skin. Most products of vitamin C come in a concentration range of 10 to 20%. Sometimes lower concentrations can work reasonably well, but most reputable products come in at about 8% or higher. It has not been shown that going over 20% is more effective, and also a higher percentage could be more irritating for skin. And topical vitamin C is best applied as a serum. When it comes to specific products, here are a few options that you might consider. For affordable options, you have the CeraVe 10% Vitamin C Renewing Serum and the L'Oreal Revitalift 12% Vitamin C. In the mid-price range, you might consider La Roche-Posay 10% Vitamin C. And in the luxury product category, you have the SkinCeuticals CE 
ferulic. In terms of the topical application of vitamin C, you want to use just a few drops, typically one to two times a day. It could be in the morning or it can be in the evening or both. And you don't need to apply a lot at any one time. Avoid using vitamin C with benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide will oxidize vitamin C, making it less effective and it'll also cause it to turn more orange and that can actually turn your clothes orange too. If your skin gets irritated from using vitamin C, make sure to stop it and consider using a different formulation. You can also try possibly a lower percentage of the vitamin C in the product and you can consider using it less frequently such as every other day or a few times a week. And you should alternate vitamin C with other active ingredients. And some people just can't find any form of vitamin C topically that won't irritate them. In that case, it's okay just not to use it. It's better that than to have irritated skin. When you're picking out a specific specific vitamin C product, make sure that it has an airless pump type of mechanism because that will allow less oxygen from getting into the actual product. The oxygen when it enters, it oftentimes makes the product less effective. So any of those bottles with the droppers are actually not going to be as useful. And the packaging should be opaque because as the light enters in, it can also make the product less effective. And be careful with the layering of other actives. Vitamin C might be less effective if it's like the second or third active that you're layering on top of other products. But vitamin C can be layered very nicely on HA serum. And we have our own HA serum product that will be hitting the market soon. Make sure to check out feelconfident.com for more information. I often talk about having reasonable expectations when it comes to cosmetic surgery, and the same holds true for vitamin C products. There's a lot that vitamin C serums can do for your skin, but you have to also understand their limitations. Knowledge is how you make confident decisions about your skin. Remember to eat a healthy diet with foods high in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits, leafy greens, and Brussels sprouts, to name a few. 